right, and we are live on Facebook. Okay, hello everyone. Happy Monday. Another week starting. Um, okay, to start, I'm just going to read our disclaimer. So my name is Jessica Davis. I'm a fitness instructor at CFB Gagetown, um, and this class is going to be a power hour, so I hope you're ready. Um, so for our disclaimer, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Forces members by using social media platforms. The telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Uh, prior to participating in the session and to make an informed decision on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or a healthcare provider, please consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise, Physiology and its reference document simply by clicking on the link. Um, so I think Tony McLean, one of my um, co-workers, he's also a uh, fitness instructor, I think he's going to post the link. Um, for that here, if not, then you can go back to one of our previous posts. Uh, they all, all of our classes have had this link posted with them. So just check in with that to make sure you are clear uh, and good to go for this workout. Uh, so by continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there is a possibility of physical injury and you agree to do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this telefitness class. All right. Hey, Tony. So yeah, Tony's on there. If you do have any questions throughout, uh, then Tony will be monitoring the comments uh, that you can just post them in there. Okay. So, like I said, we have a power hour class today. I'm just going to put my running shoes on. Um, you won't need any equipment for this unless you want a mat. We are lying down for one exercise, so you might just want a softer surface for that. Otherwise, just you, maybe some water is all that you'll need. We will start with a warm up and then we'll get into our exercises. So I've got um, six exercises for us that we're going to kind of do a circuit through. But the sixth exercise is an agility exercise and it's going to change um, each time we go through the circuit. So let's start with a warm up. Make sure you can see me. So to warm up, we're just going to do a basic head to toe warm up. So we'll start with the neck. Just bring your right ear towards your right shoulder and then circle your chin to your chest and your left ear to your left shoulder. Just back and forth. Couple more times. Good. And then bring it into the shoulders. We'll just start with some arm circles, so small circles. And then letting them get a little bit bigger. And then really exaggerate the motion, opening up your chest and rounding through your back. And let's switch directions with those. So starting small again with your circles. Getting bigger. And then really starting to exaggerate, opening the chest and rounding the back. Good. Now let's bring our arms just up and down. And then open them out to the side and then across. 
and switch which arm is on top each time you cross. One more time back to up, up down. And once more, open and across. Good. Wherever you are, just plant your feet about a hip width apart. And we're just going to do some very uh, slight torso twists. So you can let your heel lift off the ground as you're twisting. Good. And we're going to come into a squat and then stand up and then hinge from your hip. So two movements, squat first and stand, and then hinge from your hip with a slight bend in your knee to reach towards the ground. And then just switch back and forth between the two. Squat and then hinge. Squat and hinge. Make sure you're engaging um, through your glutes and your hamstrings when you're lifting back up from that hinge. Couple more. Good. Bring your feet out wide. We're going to move into some dynamic lateral lunges. So just keeping it nice and dynamic and flowing. Just uh, bending one leg towards the right, coming up, and then bend towards the left. Just back and forth. Nice and fluid. Feel free to put your own music on throughout the workout. Keep you engaged and motivated. Good, bring your feet back together. And we're going to do um, kind of a squat like we're sitting in a chair. So we're gonna sit our hips back and bring our arms out in front to counterbalance us and then just stand back up. So your feet are closer um, than a hips width apart. Sit down like you're in a chair and stand back up. Sit down, reach out, stand up. Keep it flowing. Keep your spine fairly neutral throughout this chair squat. And one more. Good. All right, some hip circles. So we're just going to lift our left leg up and then bring it out and around the side and back down. Same thing with the right. Up and out and around. Couple more on each side. And then switch directions with your hip circles. So this time it's going to come around to the back and then up and out to the side and back down. Out to the back first and then around to the front. Make them nice and big. Getting as much range of motion as you can into the hips. One more each side. Good. All right. If you are using a mat, you can just come to uh, the back of your mat. So standing tall, 
we're going to do 10 inchworms. So feet are about a hip width apart. Your feet are going to stay planted where they are the whole time. Hinge from the hip with a slight bend in your knee. Bring your hands to the mat and start walking yourself out to a plank. Once you're in that plank, just hold it for a second and then start to walk your hands back towards your feet and then all the way up to standing tall. And again, out to plank, hold, and back up. So that's two, we're going for 10. Back up. That's four. That's six. That's eight, we've got two more. Nine, last one here. And 10. Okay, come back out to your plank. Bring your left foot to your left hand. And then bring the left hand up to the air, up in the air for an easy twist. Bring it back down to the ground. And then left hand up again to the sky. Left hand to the ground. Left hand to the sky. Set that left hand back down. Step the left foot back. Bring the right foot to the right hand. Now right hand reaches up to the sky. Set it back down. Right hand up. Set it down. One more time up. And set it down. Right foot reaches back. And bring yourself back up to standing. All right. So now that we're nice and warmed up, we can lose the sweater and we'll get going with our workout. So, like I said, you don't need any weights or equipment for this workout. However, um, if you do want to add weights in for an extra challenge, then feel free to do so. Um, there are a few exercises that you can add weights to if you want it. So the first one we're going to do is a squat, and then you're gonna lift up one foot as you extend, set it back down, squat, lift up the other foot as you extend. Okay, so we'll just go back and forth between the two feet. We're gonna do 10 reps of everything um, in this uh, circuit, but if it's uh, something that's being done on one foot at a time, then we double it. So like this squat where we're lifting one foot, instead of doing 10, we're gonna do 20 so that each side gets 10. All right, so let's start with this. Here we go for 20. Lifting one knee up at a time. Four, five, That's 10, halfway. Fifteen, we got five more. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. There's last one. All right. Right into the next one, we're doing a froggy push-up. So your hands will be close together, so making kind of a diamond shape with your fingers and thumb. And then your toes will also be touching together. So I'll show you what it looks like from the front. So my hands are in a diamond, toes and knees are together to start, and we're just hovering the knees off the ground. 
just there. And then to do our push up, we're going to lower through the elbows and open our knees up at the same time. So lower through the elbows, open the knees, and then bring it back together and up. Lower and up. Okay, so we're going for 10 for these. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, keep going. One more. Awesome. All right, third exercise. Uh, good mornings. So you can, this one's probably best that you have some sort of weight in your hand, so that can even just be a book. It's more just used as a counterbalance. So, could be a book, could be a water bottle even. So, you will stand on one leg, hold your weight in your hands, standing up nice and tall, come onto uh, a one foot balance, and as you lower your torso and drop the weight to the ground, your foot in the air starts to come up. And then use your standing glute, quad, hamstring to pull yourself back up to standing. So you can do it without a weight. It's just a little bit more of a balancing act. The weight helps to counterbalance you in your hand and gives you a bit more um, of a stimulus in your glute. So let's go for 10 on each side, lifting up. Keeping your spine and your chest nice and in line so there's no arch through your back. I think that's five. Halfway on this side. Here's my balance today. One more on this side. Good. Whew, let's switch legs. Shake out that leg. And switch side. So opposite leg. Make it nice and stable and sturdy. Holding your weight in front of you. Let it lower to the ground as your opposite foot comes up. And then power yourself up to standing with that standing leg and glute. Halfway there on this side. Two more. Awesome. Shake it out on that side. Whatever you're using as a counterbalance, you can just set off to the side. Uh, our next one is prone on your belly. So kind of a, a belly snow angel we're going to do. So I'll show you from this angle first what it'll look like. So your hands will be down at your side to start. Palms are facing into the ground. You'll extend your arms up overhead by snow angel motion, and then bring your hands, or your elbows, I should say, down in a W shape, and then extend back down to the top, W, down, to the top, W, down. Okay, so our forehead, um, our chin is tucked into our chest. Our forehead is going to be sitting on the ground if possible. So let's give it a go. On your belly, tuck your chin into your chest. Make sure you can see me. Chin into your chest. Forehead comes to the mat. Extend your hands, palms face down at your hips. Slowly bring your arms all the way up above your head. Now with a bit more power, 
bring them into a W, and then extend just from the elbow, hands back to hips. All the way up, down to W, extend down. All the way up, W, extend down. All the way up, so that's three, four, five, keep going for ten. Eight, two more. Last one. Good. Set your palms down. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders and help to press yourself back up to seated. That one doesn't look like much, but I promise you, you will feel it in your back tomorrow. Um, okay, and then for the core, we've got a side plank crunch. So we're going to come down into our side plank. Feet are going to be stacked. Ensure that your shoulder stays over your elbow, that you're not um, driving weight in an awkward way from your shoulder to your elbow in an angle. So stack your feet. Make sure your elbow is under the shoulder. Bring your opposite hand up into the air. So this is um, level one, I guess I could call it, to do your crunch. If you need a modification, your top leg, your top foot stays on the mat. Your bottom leg bends so that that bottom knee comes to the mat. Okay, so that's modification. You're on your knee rather than the edge of your foot. Okay, so we're going to go for 10 on each side here. Come into whichever variation you'd like, level one or level two, and crunch in your knee to your elbow. Two. Three, make sure those hips are lifted nice and high off the mat. Six, seven, two more. Awesome, lower the hips back down, flip over to the other side. Again, make sure you're set up shoulder over the elbow. Either the side of your bottom foot or your bottom knee stabilizing you. And crunch for 10. One, two, extend, three, lift your hips a little higher. Six, seven, two more. Good. Come on back down. And now we come into our agility. So the agility move, as I said, is going to change each round. The rest will stay the same. So our first agility move is skaters with a pause. So one foot, jump to the other, pause. So you, you take a second to find your balance. Jump to the other, pause, and just back and forth on each side, okay? So same thing here. We're going to jump to each side for 10 times, so 20 total. So start on one foot, and here we go for 20 jumps. Pause, pause, find your balance for a second before you go back. That's 10 for me, halfway. Two more. Good. Okay, so we are one round down. So now that everyone knows the moves, we're going to go through the next couple of rounds a little bit quicker, make them a little more powerful since it's power hour. Um, yeah, so I'll talk you through that. Grab water if you need it. Okay, so going back this time, we're thinking about power through each set. So as you take a break and a breather, I'll just explain when we squat, we're going to power up as we drive that knee. So squat, power up and through. 
Same thing with the froggy push-up. We come down and then we power up. Don't lock out your elbows through that power up. Keep them uh, with a little bit of bend, but down slow and power up. Same thing for the good mornings where we're holding a weight. Slow down and then power up to your standing leg. Okay, side plank crunch. We'll see how it is when we get there. All right, so let's start with our squats. 10 for each side. Nice and powerful, here we go. Squat down, power up and drive. Drive that knee up and through. Three, four, keep going all the way to 20. Halfway now. I lost count, I think four more. Two more. Good. Froggy push-ups, let's go right into it. So set yourself up with those diamond fingers. Toes are together, knees are together to hover. Hover the knees. Now lower through the elbows, open through the knees and power up. Slow lower, power up. Slow to lower, power up. 10 total, that's four. Five. Three more. Last one, there we go. Whew. That one always hits my legs harder than I think it's going to. All right, our good mornings. Grab your counterbalance. So again, for this one, slow to lower down, power your way back up. Grab your weight, one foot for 10. Slow to lower, power yourself back up. Keep your eyes on one spot to help you balance. Halfway for this leg. And switch sides. Same thing here, slow to lower and then power yourself up to stand. Use your glutes to drive you and lift you back up. Halfway. Two more. There we go. All right. Our prone snow angels. So come down on your belly. For this one, slow to rise up. Quick power into the W. Slow to open, rise, quick power. Okay, so when you're making that W is where the power is coming in. So tuck your chin to your chest. Forehead comes to the mat. Start with your hands down at your hips, palms face to the floor. Hands come up. Power drives to the W. Open up and rise. Power the W. Slow to open and rise. Keep going for 10. Halfway. Slow to rise. Power the W. Two more. Good. Bring the hands under your shoulders. Push yourself back up to tabletop and seated. Hand side 
playing crunch. Okay, so this one, we're most, well, we're most worried about form and everything, but this one especially, you want to make sure your form is on point. So wherever you are, whether you're at level one or level two with your knee down, just don't worry about as much power. We're just working out the core here. If you can worry about the power, it's in your crunch in. Slow to extend, crunch in. For a ten each side. Halfway. Lift the hips a little higher. Two more. Good. Come down to the other side. Elbow under the shoulder. And for ten. Halfway, lift the hips a little higher. Two more. Awesome, bring it down. Round two for agility. All right, we're gonna pretend if you've ever done ladder drills on the floor, we're gonna imagine a ladder down on the floor beside us. So our steps, are like, like we're going in ladder rungs. We're gonna go out, out, outside the ladder, and then in, in, inside a rung. So out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. If you wanna do this just in one place, you can. If you wanna imagine a ladder on your floor and move with it, then you can do that too. It's up to you. We're going to go, uh, let's see. Let's go for 20, 20 ins and 20 outs. I'll count them for you, so just keep going. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Nice quick feet. Keep going. Halfway there. And three, two, one. Good job. Round two complete. Grab some water if you'd like. All right, next round. So same five exercises to start again. And then agility's last. Now that everyone's getting used to the exercises, you can um, be putting a little bit more power into it where you can. So, back to our squat and one leg lift. Here we go. Ten on each side. Squat, drive it up and through. Switch sides. Connect your breathing to the movement. Halfway. Froggy push-ups. Hands are in that diamond shape. Toes together. Knees hover. Here we go for 10. Lower through the elbow, open the knees. Power up. Halfway. Two more. Last one. Oh, good job. Grab your counterweight. Heading into good mornings. So bringing that power movement into your rise up again. Take a breath. Grab your counterweight. 
Here we go. One foot. Lower down. Hinge forward. Power drive it up. Hinge. Power up. Exhale and that power up. Halfway on this side. Two more. Good. Check it out. Switch sides right over. One foot. Hinge forward. Power and drive it up. Halfway. Last one. Good. Set that weight down. And we're coming into those belly prone W's again. So hands start at our sides. Bring the hands all the way up. Power through your W. And then slow to unfold and rise back up. Here we go. On your belly. Tuck your chin to your chest. Forehead comes to the mat. Hands face down at your hips. Here we go. Rise up. Power your W. Slow to open. Slow to rise up. Power W. Slow to open. Slow to rise. Keep going. That's five. Halfway. Two more. One more. Good. Hands come under your shoulders. Push yourself up. And side plank crunch. Elbow under the shoulder. Stuck your feet or bring your knee to the ground. And here we go for 10 each side. Lift the hips. Crunch it in. One, two, three. And three. Two, one, switch sides. Shoulder right over the elbow, pop it up onto your foot, lift those hips high, crunch for ten. One, two, three. Keep breathing. And three. Two, one, back down, and run three for agility. We're going to do a compass balance. So think of north, south, west, east, or east, west, whatever it is for, for the way you're facing me. So think of those four points on a compass. We're going to stand on one leg, come down and touch north. Let's go around, touch south. So right behind you, touch down. Come back to north. Go to west, touch down. Over to east, touch down. Stay balancing on the one foot, back to north. Touch down, all the way to south. Touch down. West. East. And 
coming back to north. Good, switch feet. Other side, same thing. Touch down to north. Go to south. Touch down. Go to west. Around to east. Back to north. Around to south. East. West. North. Woo! South. East. And back to north. Woo! Good job. Round three done. What time are we at? 242. I guess we better move into our cool down. If you guys want to do one more round, then feel free. But we're out of time, so I'm just going to move into the cool down. So we'll get going with that. So just stay standing. Allow yourself to catch your breath. Bring your heart rate down. Grab some water if you need it. We're gonna do a head to toe stretch, nice and slow. So starting back at our neck again, have a solid stance. Bring your left ear to the, your left ear to the left shoulder. Roll the neck around down in front, over to the right, back around. Nice deep inhales and exhales, starting to slow yourself down. Bring your head back up to center. Reach your arms up overhead for overhead tricep stretch. I'll come down so you can see me on Facebook. Holding your left shoulder or your left elbow with your right hand. Nice deep breaths. Let that go, shake it out, other side. Left hand grabs right elbow. Good, let that go, shake it out. Bringing one arm across in front to stretch out your shoulder. So whichever shoulder you're stretching, lean your head away from that shoulder to get a little bit extra of a stretch up through your neck. Good, open it back up, other side. So grab that arm to stretch your shoulder, and then whatever shoulder you're stretching, lean your head in the opposite direction to stretch up through the side of your neck as well. And just lower the shoulder down away from your ear. Good. Come back up to center and open up the chest. So lace your hands around behind you. Whether you're standing or kneeling, open up your chest. Let the chest rise up nice and proud. Try not to make an arch in your lower back, but just rise the chest rather than arching the low back. And lift your gaze up a little bit as well. Good. Unlace your hands. Let that go. Whether you're standing again or kneeling, just so from standing, have a wider stance. Reach over to one side and open up 
to your side body to look up to the ceiling. Or if you're down in a kneeling position, rest one arm on the mat and open up through your side body here. Come back to center and other side. Nice big side stretch after all those side plank crunches. Get back up to center. Come down to kneeling and then to seated if you're not there already. And we'll do a glute stretch. So you're going to cross your left ankle over your right knee. You can stay seated like this. And just the closer your hips are to that foot that's resting on the mat, the more of a stretch you're going to feel up through that left glute on the side of your left leg. So just find where is comfortable, the comfortable distance between your hips and your foot on the mat. And then try and open up through the chest and still sit nice and tall. Try not to round through the back. Nice and tall. Nice deep breath still, continuing to slow down your heart and your breath. Let that go, stretch out your legs, come to the other side. So left foot is on the ground now, right ankle crosses over the left knee. Sit up nice and tall and just move your hips closer or further away from that foot on the ground. Open up through the right knee. Sit nice and tall. Good, let that go. Shake out your legs a little. Um, open up your legs and bring um, one foot in towards the opposite thigh. So I have my left leg out, uh, up at my right thigh. We're going to hinge from the hip towards our right toe. So trying to stay nice and uh, tall and lengthen through the spine. So we don't want to round our back as we're going towards that toe. We want to keep the spine nice and straight and just hinge from our hip towards that right toe. Take an inhale to bring yourself back up and then as you exhale, fold into it one more time. Still keep a nice straight spine. Come back up and other side, open up the left leg, bring the right foot in towards the left thigh, hinge from the hip again towards that left toe so we're keeping a nice straight spine, hinging forward. Inhale to rise up and then exhale one more time as you lean forward into that left foot again, keeping a nice straight spine. Inhale back up. One more stretch. Come down on your side and bend the top leg back. Hold on to that top foot and stretch out through your top quad and hip flexors. Good. 
Guys, I'm on the other side. Top leg bends back. Hold the top foot and stretch that quad. Good, let that go. And that is our power hour for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to check out um, Gage Jones uh, workouts for the rest of the week, as well as all of the other bases across Canada. So have a great week, everyone. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you again.